today we will be going over how to set up the customer facing display on Lavu. You may have seen our stand that shows the customer facing mini, and then also you have your employee facing uh, iPad. So for this situation, we're just going to go ahead and pull the mini off the stand and just have it facing us. What you're going to want to do is you want to download the Lavu display app. When you search for Lavu, you'll see this is one of the main options. When you pull up the app for the first time, it will give you some instructions here. As we pull this app up once previously, it won't show it. So what you'll do is over here, this little I button in the lower left-hand corner. We'll go ahead and press that. And what it'll do, it'll give you the IP address of this iPad, okay? Um, towards the end of this video, I will show you how to make this IP static. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and show you how to actually set it up as if it's a dynamic IP address. So, you'll see we have that 192.168.1. Dot four one. We're going to need that number here in a second. So we're going to move over to the iPad. So this is the customer, sorry, the employee facing iPad. We'll go ahead and press the Lavu button. You're going to go ahead and press printers and displays. From there, you'll press customer facing display. And then this will show up. So first you have to enable the customer facing display. We're using the Lavu one, not the Epson one. And you also see a spot here for an IP address. We'll go ahead and press the IP address and we'll put in that IP address. So, 192.168.1.41. Okay, you'll press go. You also decide if you're going to use the capture signatures or not. Um, we don't necessarily recommend this. It does take a little bit of extra time and does slow down things. Um, I'm on the preference of, you know, going ahead and just having the. Uh, receipt print the uh, the slip, but it's up to you as far as the customer facing display goes. So we've done that, then you'll go ahead and click away. And now that is set up, okay? Back on your iPad mini, we're gonna go ahead and press done. And we'll show you what happens here. So we'll grab, we'll say even an open existing table. So this open table here, so table 10, has two Lewis, three Lewis burgers and a fry banana on it. It instantly shows that right here on the display, okay? And it also will show when I go ahead and remove that fried banana, it goes away. If I remove the Lewis burger, they go away, okay? So same situation. We're gonna go ahead and add a Kraft Lagunitas pint. Shows up here at $7, one Kraft Lagunitas pint, and then down here, same thing. One craft, like this pint, and it shows the total. Okay, so the next step would be just to check out. Okay, at this point, if you wanted to do a card, you could do a card, have them sign, or we can go ahead and just do cash. And then I will do no receipt. Down here, it then drops and gets rid of the actual item. It shows the cash was paid, and then there's zero owed. Cool. What we find often is with the customer facing display, we have it doesn't actually communicate or resets. And the main reason because of that is the customer didn't set the iPad mini to a static IP. So we're gonna go into our iPad settings. You're gonna to go to your Wi-Fi that you're using, okay? And you'll see it's set up for DHCP here automatically. So the system will let you cut and paste the DNS information down at the bottom. What you'll wanna do is write down all this information, the IP address to send the max to the router, then you'll be able to cut and paste this section here. So select all and cut and paste that whole bit. But that's the only part that you can copy and paste. So what we'll do is then we'll go to static. Then you'll go ahead and start pasting in the rest of this information. So you put in that information there. And then you have to manually put in the router, the subnet mask, and the IP address. Once you've done this, the iPad mini will stay at static. And so always when it goes, okay, I need to point to the 192.168. .1.141, it knows that it's going to be this iPad with this Lavu display. If you have any additional questions, feel free to give us a call. The next slide will show you our website for our store where you can purchase any of the front facing displays or the stands. Or if you have any questions about Lavu, feel free to reach out. Thank you.